Well, the coronavirus fears, of course, have led as well to empty shelves in many stores. People across the GTA have rushed to stockpile on items like hand sanitizers and household cleaners. But here's a big question. How effective are these items when protecting against the coronavirus? Journalists from our online team have taken these questions to the experts. And our lifestyle reporter, Megan Coley, joins us now with more. Good morning, Megan. Thank you so much for joining us. So let's start there. Uh, how effective are these hand sanitizers? I mean, how, how effective are they in protecting against the virus? So they are very effective. It's a great option if you know you're on a busy commute, on public transit, or you're in another space where there are a lot of people and potentially a lot of germs. Uh, but ultimately, public health officials are pushing that hand washing is best with soap and water. And it's good just to do that all the time anyway, no matter what. But, you know, talk about these hand sanitizers. People are making their own that's right. Explain so that. there are some do-it-yourself recipes sort of circulating online amid fears, rising fears. Um, the World Health Organization does have a recommendation, an official recommendation for how to do so, but it's really intended more for populations around the world that don't have access to medical grade hand sanitizer. So it's not really recommended for, uh, you know, people in the GTA if they can go and buy hand sanitizer from the store. All right, so what are officials as well talking about, you know, saying about household cleaners? People make their own when it comes to those as well. How effective are they, are they saying? So household cleaners are great. Again, the point we really want to drive home here is practicing good hygiene. You should be doing this all the time. Um, but now more than ever, it's great to keep spaces where a lot of people from a lot of different places might be touching. So I'm talking about, you know, desks at a receptionist, uh, in a doctor's office, things like that. Um, the key here with household cleaners is really making sure you're using the right cleaner for the right surface. So you wouldn't use, say, a toilet bowl cleaner on a kitchen counter, for example. Yeah, I mean, it should go without saying for a lot of people. But here's another question, and we've seen a lot of people stockpiling on masks, and you see a lot of stores now offering these. Um, what are officials saying about the efficacy when it comes to those? So again, you brought up a great point earlier. Um, these are really intended for people with lower immune systems, weaker immune systems, or people who are sick. Uh, the problem now is that we're running out and it can be taken away from people who actually need these products. So again, practicing good hygiene is your number one defense against coronavirus. Um, washing your hands as often as possible, using hand sanitizer in between, and trying to stay away from people who are coughing. What, how would you characterize, I guess, the level of fear among, I don't mean, that's not even the right word, but the, 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 the sentiment for health officials? Are they trying to downplay the hysteria when you pose these questions? It's a great question. So what we're hearing from public health officials in Canada right now is that the risk of uh, infection is still very low for individuals, especially if you're a healthy, generally healthy person. Um, so yeah, we are, you know, wanting to make people aware of the risk. Uh, but again, it is still very low. And I think the general sentiment is just not to panic and keep practicing that good hygiene that you should be practicing uh, year round, but especially during this time anyway, just because of the, the normal flu. Megan, thank you so much. Megan Coley from uh, our online team. We really appreciate your insight on Thanks this. Thanks for having me. So for you at home, you can learn more about these products and protecting against COVID-19 by visiting our website, globalnews.ca.